Oh, awesome. Well, uh, thank you very much for taking time to do this interview. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Minnesota in the United States. Okay. Oh, awesome. Well, it's uh, great to be able to talk to you and talk about this uh, amazing new album, Aloner, which is coming out tomorrow through Nuclear Blast. Yeah. Uh, I've gotten the chance to be able to check out this album for uh, quite a bit of time now, thanks to Nuclear Blast. And I just love what you guys are doing here. It just... It's it's the perfect kind of album for emotions that I'm feeling right now in 2022, and I'm just so excited to hear everyone else get the chance to be able to hear this full album tomorrow because it is yeah. a great full album experience. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Now we have to wait until tomorrow, so we are really really excited because it's been like a year that we have recorded this record. So, so yeah, it's, it's been one year. So yeah. Kind of long. Oh yes, I can imagine. So, so mm-hmm. uh, w- with it in mind, I mean, what was it like to start writing for this album? What was the start? Sorry. Uh, what, was... W- what was it like to start writing for the album? Oh, uh, you mean the the riffs or the lyrics? Um, all all of it, really. All of it. Uh, so um, for the lyrics, it's it's kind of different because uh, uh, I was in the depression like two years ago. It was before the lockdown. And uh, and the only move that I could do is to is the withdrawal, you know. And um, to be honest, I felt really, really relieved to to be alone and to and to and to to search isolation. And that's how a loner, you know, the, the theme of of lo- of uh, lo- loneliness and isolation came. And uh, the music, uh, it was composed like, uh, we always write riffs, you know, and uh, we we tried to compose it like uh, maybe two years ago in 2020, I think. And um, and that's it, yeah. Uh, well, I can definitely say lyrically, I can very much relate to that. I've been a lifelong sufferer of uh, depression yeah. uh, for uh, coming up on uh, 22 years now, right before... I got into my teenage years, I started developing depression and I've basically been battling it since. And I always appreciate it when there's an album that can come out, uh, whether it's the full collections of of songs or even just one song that just tackles what it really feels like to have depression. So I really appreciate that. I feel the same way, yeah. And, uh, and I think for this album, every song is like uh, a state of depression or a level of depression. And it's really at the, at the end of the, of the composition that uh, I, I realized I was only talking about uh, loneliness and isolation. And that's why we choose Alona for the title. And, you know, it's it's amazing with the lockdown as well, too, uh, yeah, yeah, how, it, how much that we, all of us have experienced that loneliness. I mean, whether we've always felt that way with depression, whether it's just being isolated from people being able to go to shows or uh, being able to work or whatever the case is. I mean, having to be able to stay home and not being able to visit people just for our own safety yeah. and health. I mean, it can really really hits you hard when it comes to mental health issues yeah yeah i think so but for me it, like i said it, it was a relief you know to the lockdown it came at the at the at the best time for me because i could uh, i could be on myself on my own and uh, but it, it was a choice and when it's not a choice I know that, yeah, isolation is not a good thing when, when it's not your choice. But at that time, it was my choice. So, uh, so I felt, uh, you know, it, uh, it was uh, a part of my recovering uh, to be alone. And sometimes that's absolutely what we need, too. I mean, sometimes we just need to fight the battles alone because, you know, yeah. just like be, taking time by yourself and trying to figure out who you are, What are the steps that you need to take to be able to move forward? I mean, when you're surrounded by people who maybe don't understand where you're coming from, or Mm -hmm. it's just a lot of information that you don't want to uh, basically share. share. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes the best way to go about it is to be by yourself and try to figure it out on your own. Yeah. Yeah. You know, everybody has an opinion of of what you should do, which, you know, they, they they all want you to get better, but you only you are the only per- person who know how to do it, and you have to realize some some things to do it, you know, and you have to realize on your own. So you have to do your uh, your mistakes, 
all that shit. And um, yes, that 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 could be a hard time, you know, for for guys like us, because nobody uh, uh, will understand you when you try to to be alone. To be, you don't want to answer the calls. <laughs> you don't want to see anybody, even your your close friend, even uh, your family. Yeah, it could be hard for us to, for for them to to understand that. Yeah, and you know it's funny. I was thinking about this just a, just a few hours ago. You know, completely unrelated to this, I was thinking about what I've been going through with uh, my mental health and through uh, the lockdown and everything that's going with that. Like, I haven't seen family or. Uh, friends for about two and a half years now, you know, yeah. just from various different reasons. So, I mean, there's a lot of times where I'm so happy I get to be alone. Other times I do get that loneliness going on, but you know, overall, I, I do feel happier knowing that I'm, I, I don't feel like a burden to other people that when I am like going through these struggles that I'm going through yeah. right now, I, I do feel yeah. happier knowing that I am alone struggling with this because I'm the one that knows the, the struggles that I'm going through and hopefully knowing what i can do to get better yeah it's exactly that yeah <laughs> yeah i'm totally agree so with that in mind i mean obviously you said that the lockdown came at a perfect time for you to be able to be alone and be alone with your thoughts and you know just uh, try to think through your mind yeah w with that like how are you feeling now uh, i'm gonna feel better but you learn to live with it you know it's like a, it's like a scar it's like a scar you are on on your on your mind on your soul And uh, you learn to live with it because sometimes it, it comes back, you know, at certain times it comes back. So, so uh, yeah, you, you learn to live with it and you know how to, to, uh, to act when you are and uh, when you feel that you, 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 you're going to be struck by, by, uh, by uh, you know, anxiety or depression. Yeah, it, it's so true. It, it hits you like a wave, too. I mean, it, mm. it, there's constant ebb and flow, ups and downs when it comes to depression, yeah, and it can come back, and there's like no way to predict a, it. It's like you have opened a door, and it cannot be closed, you know? But uh, it's, it's like that. When it's there, it's there for, forever, I think. And it, it's it, like a scar. It, it's true, and, you know, the best thing that you can do is try to find your own way to be able to battle it and get yeah. through through it and in you know like uh, you touched upon and I'll, i'll say it as well you know it's just like it's different for every single person everyone has their own ways of being able to deal with things but that does not mean it's going to work for other people people have to discover it on their own yeah and you 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 read my mind <laughs> So, you know, thinking about that as well, too, and of course, uh, thinking about the albums on A Loner, I mean, like, how was that when you were uh, penning the lyrics down and like looking back on them? I mean, was that like a cathartic feeling for you to be able to look back at those lyrics? Uh, it, like, how was that for you? Uh, when I, uh, when we play those songs, because we already play some shows, we, or we play it in rehearsal, I feel good when I play it, you know, I feel it makes, it makes me good to, to, Uh, to uh, to feel this emotion again. I don't know how to say it, but uh, I feel good, you know, when I, when uh, when I play those songs, when I when I think of of uh, the times where I was really really low, and uh, because I went through it, so and I survive, so it makes me feel good, you know. Yeah, and. You know, that's that's one thing when I am in a better state that I am so happy about is that I'm still here and I still mm. get to keep trying to get better. And knowing that I have felt lower before means that I can feel better again yeah. as well, because that has happened before. It's the repetition of dealing with depression and mental health struggles. Yes, that's it. Yeah. And that's why we like to to hear to to listen to sad music or to uh, you know to to watch uh, drama movies or you know because uh, it me it makes me feel good you know? yeah and the the more that i do listen to this album the more that i do really feel that as well too like the more that i get connected with the lyrics and uh, especially when watching Uh, the the video for the title track as well too i mean that really hits hard when you got the yes. visuals matched up with it as well the video loner yes 
Yeah, uh, and uh, it's it's they are real uh, real characters, you know. It's like uh, it's not a it's not play, you know. It's it's real characters. The the director is a friend of ours, and he told us, uh, yes, I want to do that video with the uh, when um, I want to uh, meet people that can uh, uh, tell the tell us a story of their life, and uh, and they and uh, he he went to their homes and he asked us to tell me. About about your life and he filmed us it's just uh, that simple and he asked us just find me uh, four people of your uh, that you know and uh, yeah and that's for it you know and it's really really special for us that uh, that video um, because uh, uh, it's the kind of video that the video is stronger than the music do you feel that oh i absolutely do as soon as it- I mean, I was already well familiar with the album because I, I've had it for quite a while now. But mm-hmm. uh, once I finally saw the video attached to it, it just gave the life a whole. It just gave the song a whole new meaning behind it. Yeah, too. yeah. So, and it's the first time for us that uh, that the video is uh, is strong like that, you know. And like I said, you maybe stronger than the music itself. So, yeah. so you wanted to. So you want to. To watch it again and again because you sometimes you want to to uh, to stay focused on the video and sometimes you want to stay focused on the music itself and uh, yeah and we're very proud of this video mm-hmm. and I, I was gonna say you know when watching the video as well too it it did it did have a very cathartic feeling behind it for me as well too because sometimes when we're uh, the feeling as down as we do with depression it it can always feel like uh, no one else could possibly understand the pain that we're going through but it's mm-hmm. always it, it you know it's sad but it's also a good feeling to know that we really aren't the only people that are going through depression and mental health struggles that other people around the world are dealing yeah. with mental struggles themselves yeah that's right man. when you know that other people feel the same feeling that of you, even if they don't understand you if you know that there's there's a people that can uh, uh, they have the same uh, you know, mood and feelings and uh, and they went through this the the same uh, uh, hard times yeah it's you feel better when you know it oh definitely and yeah you know it's just like it, it it's great to see those visuals match up with it as well too and with those visuals i'm i'm really happy to see the uh type of album cover that goes along with it too because i think just with that picture alone it just really sets you up for the kind of album that a loner really is and mm-hmm. i just I, it just really hits you the first time that you see that album cover yeah okay uh the picture of the cover is a uh, is a picture of so- and uh, and uh, he, he loves to take picture of uh, random people in the streets, and uh, he have a lot of photos like that, you know, black and white with with real, with a lot of contrast, and uh, it's always uh, you know real life people uh, in the streets, and um, and we asked him if uh, he had a, a, a picture that could represent uh, loneliness to him. And that's how he, he gave us this uh, this uh, this picture. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And that just gives an, another reason why I feel so attached to this album too, is <laughs> because of how real it really is. I mean, from the lyrical concepts that's going on to the music video for alone or the album cover i mean all of it is it just has a very authentic and real feeling behind it and you know sometimes that, that can be manufactured and fake but it, especially with this album you, you can just hear how real everything feels behind it yeah for us in, integrity is like uh it's everything you know we we want to talk about real things that happen to us we want to talk. We, we want to talk about real people, you know, and uh, that's why you you see uh, uh, that that cover. That's why you see uh, the, that that video. And um, yes, it's really important for us to to be real. Yeah. So uh, you you did mention a little bit ago that you did get to play some of these songs in that live setting. I mean, uh, what was that? What was that experience being able to play the songs in that live setting? Uh. That's, it's it's always stressful for for me for example uh for me my, my uh, what I like the the most is to compose and uh, after that uh, you know to go to the studio or to go to the 
uh, or to play some gigs. It's not my my favorite things, but we do it, no problem, you know, because we we like to 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 play live. But uh, yeah, it's it's always difficult for me. I can absolutely relate to that. Uh, whenever I get to play drums, like I, I do love playing live shows. I love being able to see people in front of me enjoying the music that I'm playing, but yeah. I feel most comfortable being at home and just being able to either play by myself or r write some parts or yeah. uh, just having band rehearsal. Like those feel the most comfortable to me more than anything. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how I think too. But I only talk for myself because I know the, the other guy from the band like to to play live, you know, but um, yeah, I feel oh. you. Oh yeah, and it, it's still a great feeling being able to do that too. I mean, yeah. even I mean, no matter w what the reason is, you know, it's just like uh, being able to know that there are people out there that do enjoy your music, whether they're being able to see you for the first time or of course they're being able to return to see you. I mean, that's always going to be a great feeling. Yeah, of course, of course, yeah. 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 And you know, of course, uh, you mentioned before that you've had these songs done for over a year now, and you've been now uh, awaiting on being able to release this album, and finally, it, like we mentioned, it is coming out tomorrow through nuke of the blast i mean uh have you been working on any new material since then or are you just uh, still working uh, on this no for now we have uh we just work on the promotion uh we worked on the on real solo load because now we have uh we have lights on for the show we have a, a better sound so we have to work a lot on these things before we can uh, we can you know uh, uh, think of another song. So so yeah. And you know that's very important too. I mean, being able to get the right promotion to be able to promote the album, working on the live show, being able to talk to people like myself to promote mm -hmm. the album, and I, I imagine it's got to be a good feeling knowing that you're talking to people like myself who understand yeah, the album, who like the album, <laughs> it's and the first time. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, really it's first time <laughs> from minnesota yes oh oh um, i'm glad to hear that i'm glad to be able to hear, <laughs> to promote that i yeah i mean i i love being able to promote good music and you know this is exactly what it is and when an album can just like really grab my heart the way that this album has i'm just so oh, happy to be able know. to promote something like this and knowing the struggles that you're going through and other people who may not be going through the same things but might be able to relate in some capacity being able to find something to relate to on this album i hope they have the same experiences that i do too because it is one of those emotional albums that can grab you if you are ready to experience it oh yeah thank you man yeah the, this album is definitely you know more melancholic uh there's more atmosphere and uh yeah and yeah that was uh that was because of the depression i think <laughs> But, yeah. Uh, to, to come back to Minnesota, I think uh, we only played uh, one time in the in, in the US. We played at the Las Vegas uh, Psycho Las Vegas. Oh you, yeah, you know that, that festival. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we played there um, two years ago. I think two years ago, three years ago. Yeah, it, it was a great show. Oh, that that's so great to hear that too. I, I've I've always heard good things about that festival. I'm glad it worked worked well for you guys. Yeah, yeah. So you play in the casinos. <laughs> You play. I saw like corrosion conformity in front of the of the pool outside. It, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Uh, Las Vegas is a very pretty area. Lot lots of big sound and noises going on. So something like yeah. Psycho Las Vegas is just perfect for that kind of atmosphere. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Uh, so uh, thinking about that as well, too, I mean, of course, uh, you mentioned that uh, you're getting ready to promote the album with the album coming out tomorrow and getting ready for live shows. Um, uh, is there anything that's uh, uh, official that you can talk about as far as like uh, touring or live shows or anything like that? Uh, yes. So, so we have, um, I think, like uh, 40 shows until uh, this summer. Uh, unfortunately, in Europe, uh, until uh, until March, maybe we have a lot of restrictions between the between countries. And uh, some countries told you that you can only play shows with uh, sitting people. Some other country told you that you cannot play. Uh, so we had to cancel like maybe like uh, ten or fifteen shows. And our two will definitely uh, start, I think, in uh, March. And we have a lot of festivals this summer. Um, so we go 
uh, so we go to France, we go to uh, we go to London, we go to uh, uh, several several countries in Europe, and uh, we're working on a U.S. tour. I I hope for twenty twenty three. Oh, that that would be fantastic if yeah, yeah, yeah things yeah. line up that way. So our booker is is working on it. We hope for like maybe a a one month one month uh, tour. So. So it's going to be a good thing. Oh, for sure. I'm I'm definitely rooting for you guys to be able to do that. But, you know, of course, until then, I'm I'm glad to see the shows that are still booked are still happening and then planning for everything for the summer as well, too. And uh, just being able to get that live promotion for this album that it deserves. And of course, with the album coming out tomorrow, I'm so excited for people to be able to check it out. And it's been a great time being able to talk to you about it, uh, having a real conversation about mental health, which I always yeah. love to advocate for and love being able to talk talk about that and spread the word that it is a real thing uh just talking about some great music coming out tomorrow with a loner through nu- through nuclear blast and just a great band like hangman's chair and i thank you so much for taking the time to be able to talk to me about all of it well thank you for thank you for all man man it was a great thing yes like you said like to talk about a real thing like uh, like depression it's not a it's not something that you talk about in, in interviews usually so so thank you 